Dr. Jake here, reporting from Dirt Water. After you put these injectors back in the head, and you might be worried that you cut one of those seals, especially the black seal that goes on top, the one that holds the diesel fuel in the head around the injector, all that, you scared you might cut one of them seals. i tell you what you can do. You don't have to worry. What you do is put your jumper wire right here at the battery and follow the jumper wire around here to the right kick panel. Behind the right kick panel is the inertia switch. And what you wanna do, scratch out, hit the button. What you wanna do is hook on to that pink wire right there. Go to the inertia switch. Forget about the relay. You can't use a relay. It's integral with the fuse panel or some crap. It's not serviceable. That's what we need on all vehicles. Non-servable, servable, unserviceable. Have to buy a thousand dollar fuse box to change the relay. Brilliant. Brilliant. So anyway, I'm running the fuel pump right now. That means I got pressure, about 50 pounds of pressure on these injectors. The fuel is running. I am not seeing any leaks. The back one's good, that one looks good, that one looks good. We got no fuel getting jacked into the oil because we're running the fuel pump. We went to the inertia relay and put some juice on the big pink wire with black stripe. So we're testing, testing, making sure we ain't gonna have no problems. It's real easy to have problems and we don't need problems. I'm going to let it run a few more minutes, finish this cigarette, and then uh, we don't get no leakage. I'm going to commence on with the oil manifold. Once I get it on, I'm going to fill it up with oil. Once I get it on, I'm going to put some air pressure on it. Make sure that it holds air. You can check that too. Yep. Make sure it holds air pressure. If it holds air pressure, maybe it'll hold 100,000 pounds of oil pressure if you're lucky. And then we're going to fill it up with oil, put the cover on it, move over to the other side. Got to do the other side. The other side has improperly installed oil seals. Somebody don't know how to put oil seals in the top of these injectors. It messed them up. I'm going to straighten this back out. What's his name? What's his name? Yeah. You be quiet. I'm doing this. No, it was not Jack Payne that messed it up. <laughs> Look, I'm making a movie. There'll be people 10 years from now looking at this crap. They don't need to know Jack Payne messes up. The, he's the one who made all these good videos. Help people fix their stuff. They ain't never done it. And then this right here help them out. They won't have to make a bunch of boo-boos. They'll be able to come back and fix stuff that everybody else done messed up. All right, that's it. I'm through running, jacking. Goodbye. See y'all. Bye, Greg.